All right, I'm Troy. This is Tim. Oh, trust me. We know who both of you are because you both are legit walking red flags. I am Trostberg, otherwise known as a uh, fuckboy. <laughs> <laughs> a walking red flag. A walking red flag. I'm not a fuckboy. <laughs> um, but we're going to dive in and we're going to find out. And he's about to interrogate my ass. <laughs> The walking red flag. I'm calling this episode walking red flag. <laughs> <laughs> I should have told you to wear all red, man. Fuck. I should have. I should have. You know what we should have got? We should have got like a red flag and we just throw it up every time. We're just like red flag. <laughs> we got a special guest today. We got a special guest. It's just guest. a giant red flag. Just, wah, 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 just throw it on. So, the walking red flag. How long have you been out in LA? Have you, have you, are you from LA? I'm from Orange County. Orange so County. So, Orange County is like an hour south. Okay, from Newport yeah. specifically. So you're a Cali boy. I'm a Cali boy, but I'm not like an LA kid. Uh-huh. Everyone's always like, "Oh, you're an LA kid." I'm like, "No, there's a difference." Like, what's the difference? Like laid back and just like wants to surf and skate. Out here, LA is like I feel like it's more like clout chaser. Like, yeah, what's in it for me? Right. I guess. So when people are like, "Yo, oh, he's from LA," I'm like, "No, I'm not from LA." Yeah. I'm a I'm a Newport kid. Yeah. You know? yeah. So how long have you been actually living? You live in LA now. I though. live here now. Yeah. Yeah. So I've been here for five years. I went to college out here. Okay. So I played soccer oh, and nice. uh, I just stuck around. I enjoy it. It's like one, it's like, it's like a love hate relationship. Yeah. <laughs> what's the, what's the, uh, the love. All right, this, you? <laughs> this is what I love about LA is like, wherever you go, you never know who you're going to meet. Right. In Newport, you don't get that so much. Right. But then I also dislike the like I said, like the what's in it for me, the entitlement that a lot of people feel. Right. Um, the hierarchy, I guess you say, in LA. Yeah. It's such a thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of like uh, social status kind of plays in this. In, Perfect. You yeah. know what I mean? And yeah. it's just kind of lame sometimes. Which is, which is like unfortunate. Yeah, it's time. very superficial. 100%. In other words. So I guess that, you know yeah, I mean? summing up, that's the best yeah. way to put it. Growing up in Orange County, what was that like? You got any siblings? Yeah, I have a younger brother, younger sister. You um, the oldest? I'm the oldest, unfortunately. <laughs> Why is that? I say that because like the oldest always gets like chat on. Am I allowed to curse on this? Yeah. Okay. The oh, oldest fuck. always, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we give zero fucks. Yeah. Zero fucks. We love to see it. Um, yeah. The oldest just get, get shot on. The middle kid's like the prized possession. And then the younger is just like, I don't give a fuck. All right, go have a good time. Do whatever you want to do. Um, yeah. But uh, I always say I was very privileged and I was very like blessed to have like been brought up the way I want or I, mm-hmm. I was. I went to a good school. Like I had a good education. Mm-hmm. Um, I had a lot of good friends. So yeah. like I was just on like a good path. But then they always say like, oh, you're living in a bubble. You're living in a bubble. So when mm. I was 18, I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Mm. And just seeing like what's really good. Yep. What's really good is like my, my way of saying like. Uh, like where, where you fit in. In a way. Your it's just vibe. Like, yeah, just like, like what's really good with that. Like, like what's it all about, I guess, mm. is, is my way of saying it. When that makes pay. sense. This man speaking fucking. No, nobody <laughs> understands what I'm saying. It's just my stupid slang. Don't, don't come at me for that one. So I like. Went to LA where it was like far enough to be away from the parents, but like <laughs> if I need to go back home, bro, <laughs> this guy. if I need a, a hot cook meal, like, you moved out of a bubble to get, go into another bigger bubble. <laughs> I guess that like if you put it that way, it's not the best. Yeah, not the best way of putting it. But yeah, yeah. no, that makes so, like, sense. The reason we decided to do this podcast, yeah. I'm reason. scrolling through my TikTok and I see a video. It's you and your homeboy mm-hmm. who was supposed to be who here. Who was supposed by to the be way. here? Yeah, fucking Tim. Tim. You bomb. Motherfucking flaker. That <laughs> completely <laughs> goes with exactly what we're talking about. Flag. Walking red flags, That's, motherfucker. <laughs> by the way, this is a red flag. Whenever we go like this, we're throwing red flags. <laughs> red flag. We got to edit like a red flag to like. Oh, I got, I got something. Like perfect. Oh, dude, that's perfect. We need, <laughs> all right, grab like 10 of those bitches because we're going to need them. <laughs> red flag. <laughs> that's perfect, dude. Perfect. There you go. All right. You can't run out of red flags. Oh, we're definitely running out. Oh, 100%. <laughs> That so, just means both of us has to have to take like but a I'm scrolling, shot. And you know, I've seen your face a shit ton of times, like, you know, trying to woo the camera and whatnot. I'm sorry, man. I always say doing your thing. I always say <laughs> I, see. I always say block me if it gets too much. <laughs> and then it was you and your homie, and then it cuts to a chick and she's like, Yeah, we know who you guys are. You guys are both walking red flags. <laughs> and I just started laughing my ass off. And immediately too, I copy link, I yeah. go to Instagram, yeah. I go to your page, I say, yo. This shit just popped up on my, For you, yeah. let's do a podcast, yeah. and I want to call it Walking Red Flags. <laughs> and that's all she wrote, and that's why I'm here. So, welcome to the Strip Down Podcast. Strip Down. Today, we got a 
special treat for y'all. We're about to put y'all on game. <laughs> and we're gonna interrogate his ass and get to the bottom of some of the chicanery yeah, that be yeah, going look. on out in these streets. I'm gonna give y'all a heads up right now though. We're gonna try to be as transparent with y'all and That's open possible. and vulnerable with y'all as possible. So the exchange here, no judgment, okay? <laughs> be cool, be cool, be cool with my boy. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Which is really funny by the way. Because I commented. Did you see my comment on her video? I did. I can't remember exactly what you wrote. I said something along the lines of how so or like why, why. Just essentially like the, the whole like meaning behind it was why. <laughs> right? We all know why. We all know why. <laughs> we all know why. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. I mean, hey, if I'm a red flag, just say it. That's fine. What do you but, think defines somebody as a walking red flag? That's a good question. What, what, like, what makes somebody say, oh, that um, he's a walking red flag? See, everyone's got their own opinions. To me, mm -hmm. to me, it's like it's the guy who gives uh, women like like false hope or false promises in mm -hmm. order to get what he wants. That yeah. is like the definition to me uh, of a fuck boy. That's a fuck boy, right? Okay, somebody now, who do you do you put fuck boy and red flag hand in hand? I think there's like red flags are signs that this guy might be a fuck boy. Okay, okay, right? that's fair. So if you're a walking red flag. That's like a preconceived notion that you have the, all these characteristics of a fuckboy. Meaning, sure. it's also another way of saying like, I could tell that this guy knows how to like, talk to women, say, tell a woman exactly what she, she wants, wants to, to hear, hear. Yeah. and yeah. all head. indicators point to red. <laughs> there's motherfucking no, there's no yeah red. yeah yeah there's no green in that but anyways. i guess that's fair i was asking my friends today i yeah. go i go i'm going on this podcast i go um yeah we're going to talk about being a fuck boy and posting thirst traps and all this stuff yeah and i go do i really post thirst traps i don't think i post thirst traps because you're pretty and you're smart and you're ignoring me so you're obviously my type i'm sorry what were you saying Bro, you don't look at me like that. Like, I really don't. Let's go watch a movie. What? I, I, okay, listen, listen. Yeah. I know, listen, there have been. I'm about to cut one in right now. Yeah. Tell me now. I love you. <laughs> Y'all tell me, is this guy thirst strapping or not? Listen, there have been a few where I'm like, I like look at it and I post like whatever it is. You know, it's me like singing a some weekend song. Looking back at it now, I'm like, dude, what were you doing, bro? You're covertly thirst trapping. That's the thing about it. Your style is more like your role playing as uh, the fantasy boyfriend. Okay, okay, <laughs> and that makes me that makes me a well, fuck boy, quote unquote. It doesn't make you a fuck boy, but I, it definitely makes you a thirst trapper. <laughs> And a thirst trapper is a red flag, which then essentially goes hand in hand well, with fuck boy. It's definitely an indication of a potential red flag. <laughs> that motherfucker okay. is like orange on the cusp of red. Okay, okay. It's like when the light goes from yellow almost red. It's like yep, right in between. It's like right, right there. It's orange. Okay. <laughs> I used to orchestrate thirst trapping for a living. You literally did. Our whole concert tour was a one giant thirst trap show. There's levels to this shit. Like you're exactly. the ultimate thirst trapper. Orchestrating all that. So I know a thirst trapper when I see one, yeah. but I just think it's hilarious because like, you know, the saying, don't uh, judge a, a book, book by, by its, its cover. cover. Which is so easy to do, man. And like, that's the, that's the yeah. difficult part with like social media in a sense. Yeah. And even let alone texting, I'll get into that in a second, but it's just like, <laughs> with me, it's like, it's so easy to form an opinion. It takes no effort. Right. It's so like if I scrolled through and I saw you, I'd be like, oh, kids are fuck boys. Probably, uh -huh. He's Easy. probably like not cool. Probably just bag. Like, yeah, probably douche 100%. bag. Yeah, it would be like, oh. I know y'all thought the same fucking thing. Don't even, <laughs> don't even try to front. Everybody hey, look at him now. <laughs> episode what? What episode is this? This is episode, I think, 73. 73? 72, 73. Holy cow. Yeah. That's a lot of episodes. But I just got that comment. Literally, I didn't like you at first. I thought you were a fuck boy, mm -hmm. but now you I because yeah, like I right. see your intentions are where yeah. they're supposed they're to. They're good. Be. They're pure, man. Yeah. But here's the thing: I try to be as upfront with like the fact that yeah, I'm not perfect. Okay. You yeah. know, I will say there are times when I'm being like a fuck boy when I like I love to flirt with people because mm -hmm. that honestly just makes life more fun. Mm -hmm. But I oh, know nice. I know when. Nah, I'm, I'm lying. I don't know when to stop, but I won't capitalize on the opportunity. I do it for fun just to see how far I can get. Oh. And I love the chase. Personally, I love the chase. 
So you're like, one of those. I, yeah, I'm one of those where I'm like, all right, cool. Like, I'll talk to that person for a long time, and then once I know I can get it, I'm like, okay, cool. Next. Then that's. You- that's the fuck boy in me if we're being completely transparent. So what do you think it it is about the chase that you like? Like what do you uh, everyone everyone naturally likes what they can't have. Right. So once you get what you can have, it's almost like a validation in a sense. That's what it is. Like okay. for a man isn't it's an ego thing, yeah? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Like, like my thing. homie that, that co-hosts yeah. with me yeah. was the same way. Well, yeah. he's married now. He just got married earlier this year. Cool. But like when we like reverse engineered it and kind of psychoanalyzed it and we came, got down to like really what it was, it was, yeah, just honestly not being, and I'm not trying to imply this about you per se, but this mm-hmm. was true in his case. Mm-hmm. It was not being 100% comfortable or confident in himself as a man is what his words were. Okay. So he used other things like as validation to supplement for that self-worth that okay. he wasn't getting in other areas of his life. Which yeah. is a great way to put it. Everybody it's, has like... Everyone has insecurities. At the that's end the of thing. The day, everybody has an insecurity and we or all, multiple. It's different for everybody. Mm-hmm. But I thought it was like really intriguing that you say that. Like you, you love the chase. Because that's one thing all girls are just like, they assume about guys. Like sure. they just love the chase. They, yeah. they love the chase. And to me, I'm just like, personally, I'm like, if you don't want me like that, yeah. then I'm not feeling any sort of sense of desire. Yeah. And now I'm not like, that doesn't appeal to me, sure. but I see how it makes sense. It's, it's the same as I heard someone say it as, as if a hunter goes out and tries to like get a moose. Yeah. Right. He wouldn't frame the moose if the moose just showed up on his doorstep one day. Does that make sense? Right. Not saying that that's like my intentions or that's like my motto in life or anything like that. I've just heard it. And I was like, okay, like that makes sense. Like I understand the meaning behind that. So what are some things for like the girls listening to kind of be able to tell like, Oh, he's just chasing some validation. This guy. Wouldn't you just say like the, the pick me guy, like the guy who's like, Oh, poor me. Uh, kind of guy or somebody who's like overly agreeable, somebody who's like going along with everything that the person says for the sole purpose of like trying to get them to like them. Sure. Right. So that's like what I think of is like somebody who's like a pick me and that's quote uh, another term for like the nice guy, you know what okay. I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like, yeah. you don't want to necessarily be the nice guy. You want to be a good guy, which is like, you're true like with that. your impression, your like intentions that. and, you know, and but you're on, honest and straight up. You're true with yourself. Right. Yeah, obviously. So anything yeah. that you don't, you don't necessarily connect with or whatever, yep. like Perfect you don't mind like it. going against the grain yeah. is, is what I'm looking for. Yeah. In a way. So is there like anything that like you even notice patterns that like would be almost a clear tell sign that, oh, He's not really that serious about me. He's just kind of chasing some validation. Sure. It's, it's, I would say with that, it would be obviously if like he just hits you randomly out of the blue, yeah. you know, where it's like, oh, I've got Miranda, I've got Sarah and I've got Tiffany and I'm talking to all of them. And then I just ghost Tiffany for like a week. Cause I'm more interested in so-and-so like mm. these two girls. Cause they're maybe giving me more of what I want mm. once they kind of start to pull back. Cause they realize, oh, okay. Maybe homies like being a fuck boy. Right. Then I'll hit up Tiffany and I'll be like, hey, thinking about you, what's going on? And then she'll hit me right back. <laughs> Not me necessarily, yeah, yeah, but no, like no, just, for, exactly just to kind of like play, play the character. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Someone who doesn't necessarily like, isn't, isn't persistent yeah, and consist- on you 24 seven. Because listen, if a guy really likes you, he's going to make it known that he likes you. Yeah. Yeah. Like a guys go after what they want. Yeah. So and, if you're somebody who like maybe like flaky, because like let's say you really do like a girl, mm-hmm. if you can't hang out or plans fall through for whatever reason, what yeah. would your normal response be to that girl? If I genuinely can't hang out, and you genuinely like her, oh, I would tell her exactly like what's going on. Right. I'd be like, hey, I got I got to shoot a podcast. Totally forgot. It's at seven o'clock. I've planned this for the past two weeks. Right. You know, something along the lines of like, like you have to be honest with them. Right. So would you say like, if the, you weren't that into the girl, you might not even give an explanation? If or? I wasn't, how about this? If I'm not necessarily into the person, I would keep like an open ended. How do you say, um, I've heard someone refer to like this as like the LA lunch, like 
you're mm-hmm. at a party and you're like, oh yeah, like we need to get lunch that w- next week. Right. Knowing damn well, you're not going to get lunch with that person. <laughs> right. If the person likes you, right. they're going to be like, all right, cool. Let's do lunch. I'm going to pick you up at Thursday at eight, uh, Thursday night, eight o'clock, mm. wear something comfy or dress up a little bit. We're going out somewhere nice. Does that make sense? Yeah. Whereas like, if I like the attention, but I don't necessarily want to take it anywhere, mm-hmm. I would be like, oh yeah, we should get brunch next week. Mm. You know? And if the person hits you up the day before or the day of, um, if you don't got anything going on, then you might follow through. Sure. But if you do, then you sure. would be like, yeah. oh, I can't make it. Not even. Sometimes you just don't even respond. Sometimes they'll be like, hey, like what's going on? So you don't follow through with plans, really. You wouldn't, like in that case. Sure. Right. And I see that a lot because here's the thing. When I do these live streams that we do every week, I mm-hmm. get a lot of questions. It's like basically an open Q&A. Why does he keep telling me he wants to make plans or take me out, but then he always flakes? And I'm he's like, got someone else already. Exactly. He's got somebody else. Out, I guess. Yeah. And he's just like with mm-hmm. you, he's just chasing some validation. 100%. He's, yeah. got, he's got his main... And when the main doesn't pull through or she's going out of town or doing something, then he'll yeah. decide to be. And maybe if B doesn't work out and she's busy going on, <laughs> you know, date with Austin, who's guy number 36 in her book, then he'll go down to C. And again, I'm not saying like this is what, what I'm doing, but this is like, t- like little tells that, yeah. you know, I've seen my friends do or other guys do or even like my girlfriends come and they're like, oh my God, like what's going on? So I can, yeah. you know, from a man's perspective, I'm just like, yeah, you know. That's the way, perfect way to look at it is like, okay, what are some of those things that your girlfriends like come to you with and like say, why is he doing this or why is he doing that? What are some of those things? And you're like, yeah, he's, he's playing you, girl. He, he's not really that serious. 100%. But again, it, I feel like it just all stems from like a male's ego. That's just, yep. that's what it is. 100%. You know, but to kind of go back on what you were saying, you said he will make it known that he does like, like, you yeah. know, that individual. He's making an effort. And he will make an effort. Like how I said, yo, be ready at Thursday at eight o'clock, yep. wear this, you know? You set plans, you schedule it like almost immediately. If a guy likes you, he's going to schedule a, a dinner a week in advance. If yep. a guy doesn't give a fuck about you, he's going to be like, oh, yo, what are you doing tomorrow night? Or even the day of, what are you doing tonight? Maybe we'll do it. Now, yeah. I'm not saying good guys can't be sporadic once in a while and be like, oh, like, you know, something canceled on me. So let me uh, make plans with my, my girl. Yeah. But like, if a guy really likes you and you guys aren't even dating right now, it would be like, I'm going to schedule a date this day and we're going to do this. We're going to go here and I'm going to drive and I'm going to take her to the mountaintop here. and I'm going to kiss her at this time. And he starts like fantasizing the same exact way girls fantasize about yep. guys. Like we're all the same. We're all people. People are born on this earth to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah. <laughs> but, Ain't but was, at the end of the day, we're all humans and we all need love and attention. <laughs> it's just like, if a guy really cares for you, he's going to go out of his way above and beyond, yeah. you know, to prove to you that, that you're worth it right. for him or, or he's worth it for you. Essentially. Exactly. Yeah. If a guy doesn't care so much, it'll just be like, Oh, let's do this or let's do that. Or right. That's Low right effort, motherfucker. Low effort. There's no effort. It's minimal effort. Mm-hmm. But then sometimes girls are totally okay with minimal, minimal effort. But honestly, it's got to be some sort of balance between, you know, there's got to be the effort in order for him to get away with the Netflix nights. Okay, yeah, that's cool. But if it's just nothing but Netflix nights and sure. always consistently low effort sure. <laughs> attempts of hanging out and stuff, yeah. then it's a clear sign this guy is uh, fucking... Fucking fuck boy, he's part, dude. He's part of the bloods, that man. <laughs> <laughs> fucking to the streets with his ass. He is ASAP. Street, yeah. Yeah, you <laughs> kick his ass out. Let me tell you that much. Okay, so let me ask you this. What makes you like actually like a girl? What makes me like a girl? Yeah. For okay. me, for me, I'm very particular. It's I have to obviously be mentally stimulated before I'm physically stimulated. Mm-hmm. And uh, I love someone who's just driven. I've always said I need, a, I want a girl who doesn't need me. And I'm not saying like, oh, like, fuck off, like, you know, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I want someone who's like, like so in her zone, her lane, knows what she wants. And she's going to go get it that like nobody can get in her way. Right. And where I would be... An asset, or yeah. In a be, way, uh, it's just I. I always, I always just say I need someone who doesn't need me, and I guess that is just I. I want a girl who's who's hardworking and has her own dreams and ambition. I love ambitious people. That's that's right. you know that gets me like fired up. Right. Right. So when someone's got their thing going for them, mm-hmm. I got mine. We mm-hmm. come together and like celebrate the wins and the victories. Right. Mm-hmm. 
if the rules were reversed, I wouldn't want someone latching on to me as I'm driven because I just feel like it kind of pulls you away. Yeah. You know, in a sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. You want um, somebody who, who has their own thing going, but at the same time, like that person's motivating you in a way. Just that's through, great. That's just, a great way to put it. Yeah. They're that's, motivating you just through like you admire what they're doing. Mm -hmm. It's inspiring you to be on your path. And the head. And that the makes head. sense. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Because that's, that's just like, to me, that's so hot. Yeah. I'm like that, that gets me fired up. Well, not only that, like the vice versa of that is like, you know, somebody who is just too much about you while you're trying to like, totally. the saying is absence makes the heart grow fonder. I completely agree. Right. Yeah. So if you guys are both busy right, yeah. doing your guys' thing and then those moments that you do get, get to spend Share. together you you like appreciate those because more. it gets it gets old yeah. so to me it's like i don't like the whole texting hey good morning which are totally fine good morning text good morning have a great day but like oh what are you doing mm -hmm. at 11 o'clock in the morning oh mm -hmm. i'm grabbing coffee one o'clock hey what are you doing yeah three o'clock hey what are you doing it's yeah. like no, no no i don't want to do that i want you to be working so hard you do your thing yeah. not saying like working so hard where you have no life but you yeah. you get it there's like balance where it's like yeah. you're doing your thing i'm doing my thing right and at night you get to like talk about your day and be like how was your day right you know and then and then you have so much more to talk about as opposed to being yeah. like I'm and it's so coffee. much better to have those conversations in person agreed rather than via text agreed like i always say this like ladies us guys are not really much like texters you know, we'll do it, mm -hmm. especially in the beginning when the interest level is like at an all-time all high. All-time high. 100%. And there's a lot to get to know about like, this girl. You're like this. You're right? just like, like there's a lot to discover. Yeah. It's way better having those conversations in person. 110%. Like, you know, the vibe. I can feel your vibe exactly like. That's you know. where I was going with the whole texting thing earlier is, is I was saying like you can only get so much out of a text. So if mm -hmm. you were to text, you know, if your girl says, hey, uh, how's your day? And mm -hmm. you're like, it's good. It can be read or interpreted so many different ways being, yep. oh, it's good, or yeah, it's good. It's good, why and then you so dry with me? Exactly, <laughs> and, then, and then you're like, and then it starts a whole fight, and you're like, all I said was, oh, it's good, but meanwhile, she's over here like, it's good, talking yeah. to her girlfriend like, what the fuck, like, what's, what's what this What is this supposed problem? to mean? Yeah, yeah. He and just said, it's good. This is one thing I'm gonna say is like- There's no emoji, Yeah. no period. Listen, no, men, men no are, exclamation point. Yeah, yeah, right? And men are so uh, simple that women love to me. read into things, <laughs> don't they? And well, we do that shit too. You know, listen, listen when you really like the girl, yeah. 110%. Yeah. 110%, I agree. But like, yeah, my way of, of saying is like texting can be interpreted so many different ways yeah. where it's just like, I'd rather just tell you about my day at night. Or like, if you want to do a FaceTime call? I, I prefer that as opposed to just texting you to say like, yeah. I'm grabbing Starbucks for the third time today. Yeah, you know? it, yeah, that's a thing. Cause like exactly like you said, too much can get misinterpreted, and it gets old, man. It gets yeah, it gets so old. So kind of going along the lines uh, again of like what you, what makes you like a girl. Sure, ambition is one. Somebody Huge. who doesn't need you. Huge, right? Yeah. So you you said I love ambitious people. That's almost like kind of because it could go either way. I see a lot on the internet of like guys wanting their girl to need them in some way. They feel too, and I get this all the time. Why are guys intimidated by an independent woman? I don't understand that. <laughs> Neither do I. Neither I'm do like, I. I don't know what y'all talking about. Like I fucking. But you know why? It's because, because therefore she doesn't need him is basically what so I'm getting at. Based so on like, insecurity. hundred percent. So if the guy's like insecure with himself, he's going to need someone there to validate him. So it's all, it stems back to validation. But if you're secure with yourself, and she's secure with herself. I mean, that's a strong ass bond, dude. Yeah. You know, are you currently in a no. relationship? No. Seeing anybody? Yeah. Talking. How many? <laughs> <laughs> we caught his ass. He's still on that bullshit. <laughs> no, just like that. no, we're, we're having fun. We're having fun. Um, I'm in no place to have a relationship right now, which I guess, is that a red flag right now? We I'm just going to throw, we heard it before. I'm going to throw my first red flag. <laughs> Let me open this thing real quick. We've throw heard it all one. before. That one's gone. No, but, but listen, I feel like at a point in your career, in your life, mm -hmm. it just, it's easier staying single. And I guess the other argument is having someone to rely on and talk to through like the hardships. Right. It's, it's nice to be able to go out to dinners or go out to uh, events or talk to people and not get backlash for, oh, who was so-and-so? Who are you texting right now? Why did you stay out at dinner so late? Yeah. Why? Which kind of like starts a whole 
yeah. a whole thing. It just keeps it keeps it simple. Yeah. You know, and I see all my friends who are like in very happy relationships and mm. I'm happy for them. Except you don't see what goes on behind closed doors all the time. Or if you go out at dinner and one thing's said and it starts a whole fight and we're like, oh man, here we go again. That's the time when I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that I'm, I'm fucking <laughs> right. single, you know? You're thinking of a vivid memory like right now. Oh yeah. As you said that. Oh yeah, it happened last week. Trust me. Shit. <laughs> it happens all the time. But you anyways. throwing under the bus? Who was it? Nah, nah, we're not going there. <laughs> but uh, I'm single and uh, ready to mingle. So hit me up. Oh on, shit. Hit me up on Christian. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> So wait. You did say that you were talking to someone or just having fun with someone. So you got like a friends with benefits or uh, something like that. You don't yeah. want to say because somebody might get mad. <laughs> I don't know, man. In a month from now, who knows? Uh, no, the person, the person's really cool and means a lot to me. That's all. I, that's all I have to say. Gotcha. So okay. y'all, you know what's so great about it is like we don't even know what we are. So y'all in a situation shit. Yeah, I guess. We're, no, what's a situation shit? Yeah, that's when y'all don't know what you are. <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what that is. When y'all are uh, in some sort of relationship but y'all don't know what kind of a relationship is it is it considered a relationship though it could be a friends with benefits it could be a relationship y'all don't know (laughs) i don't know i don't know what we are all i know is i'm just i'm just enjoying i'm just having fun what that is though is also like y'all not being clear about like what your intentions are with but we are we are are very clear so is she on the same page as you like she doesn't want a relationship either she was she was the first one to say it Okay. She was the first one to say it. So, yeah. and you're, you're in the same boat as her. Like 110%. You, so you guys are in the friends with benefits. Sure. That's what that is. Sure. Not to be confused and with I fuck know, buddies. No. Friends with benefits, no. like y'all are actually friends. Yeah, we're With great benefits. Friends. I'm concerned yeah. for you, my boy. <laughs> He's sipping that water fucking. I'm thirsty over here, bro. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I don't. Um, <laughs> hey, look, we're not saying anything, but I'm just, hey, look, I'm just giving an honest outside perspective here. And I, with, there's nothing wrong sure, with that either. I feel like you're my therapist. Hey, listen, bro. I, hey, I didn't know I was just, sitting on just a therapist. Like, how much do I owe you? We're going to Venmo his ass after this <laughs> motherfucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna have no more money in my checking tonight. The reason I bring it up is like, yo, at this point, I've seen so much of like the s- similarities between situations. Sure. I just call it what it is, and I don't think there's anything wrong with anything as long yeah. as everybody's on the same page, sure. right? Yeah. Where it gets fucked up is when people aren't on the same page or when they're being misled. That's where I, I come in and I'm like, no, 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 no. But mis- a problem. But being misled is another. That's another fucking red flag. That means when you're saying something but doing another, like implying like, yeah, we're just friends with benefits. We're not anything official. But then also you'd be like territorial or controlling in a way like you're mine. No, it's like, yo, hold up. If you don't want a commitment, which means at the end of the day, that would be mixed signals. So then it's like, it's like, this is my question for you. Mm -hmm. If you are in a situation where you're very transparent with what you like, right? Mm -hmm. Or what you want. And that person is, you know, two people are talking and doing whatever. Are they able to go out and talk to other people? Me personally, like if I'm in a situation like that, I have no problem with you going to talk to whoever you want because I know I'm not going to be the one to give you that long term sure. thing. Okay. Right. So it'd mm-hmm. be pretty selfish of me to say, no, you can't go to talk to sure, anybody sure, sure. or go find that person but here's my only stipulation i just don't want to know about it like that's fair so here's my thing i'm I'm not creeping on her stories or her her instagram and seeing what she's up to i mute that shit you do your thing girl out of sight out of mind when we spend time together like you're mine in those moments yeah yeah, yeah, right but let's say for safety purposes obviously it's Mm -hmm. like okay if we're gonna be hooking up if you are gonna hook up with somebody else i would at least just want to know about it because then I can kind of like protect myself sure, yeah. and, and choose whether or not, Fair. you know, we no, should it's... get down dirty or we need to fucking wrap saran wrap. Yo, so <laughs> so where, where are you at with that? What do you mean? <laughs> I already I'm know gonna where take, this, I'm gonna take it on this guy, the way his cheeks are turning red is giving me. Am I? <laughs> it's a, I really think it's the we, light bouncing off this. We right don't now, need man. the red flags anymore. <laughs> this guy's cheeks are doing it all. <laughs> oh man. I'm playing. So, okay. But that's a common thing. 
Yeah, as you like talk to someone and get to know someone, you start like developing feelings for them. It's a very like natural thing, yeah. Right. I don't know. That's where you guys gotta start checking in with each other. Yeah, that's where you gotta start checking in. But uh I am <laughs> This guy's a mess. I'm a mess. <laughs> I'm a mess. This is why I stopped giving dating advice. I can't even take my own, man. I can't even take my own fucking advice. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is like it's so common. Every it's a it's a pandemic of Sorry. exactly what you're talking Sorry. about. There's a situation shit pandemic out there in these streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it yeah, yeah. yeah. Am I wrong, y'all? So it's like, at least we're having this conversation so everybody else can frame up exactly like 100%. where they're at, too. You're not alone. We're not. If you're going through the same exact thing, you're not alone. That's all I have you to say. You are not alone. <laughs> Fucking kill <cute. laughs> So it's like, okay, let's try to oh, figure this funny. shit out. Because mm -hmm. we don't want to end up breaking poor Troy's heart. Over yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, exactly. shit. She's a good person. That's all I have to say. Okay. She's a good person. I think so, too, bro. Yeah. I could tell. She's a, she's a, she's something special. <laughs> But I see, I, I've seen there's been a particular individual that you've been like. Who's that? Do you want me to start like guessing names? I guess we could always cut it, yeah. D <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's a she, dude. She's cool. She's a. She's, she's a cool like person. a great, like, from what I can tell, like, uh, first off, one of my best friends growing up was. So I know a lot about the culture and yeah, like yeah, yeah. the people. Yeah, yeah. So it's like that's a great girl, but you better not fuck around with her. She'll fucking yeah, you're gonna have no, problems. man. We're just we're just friends. We're All just right, friends. good, good. We're good. cutting this. We're cutting <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I, knew, but honestly, I knew it. But honestly, I knew we were gonna have some point where you're gonna be like, no, 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 cut that out. You're like, nah, bro, fucking, I'm cool, man. No, no, I'm I'm cool. I just whatever. don't know. She's cool. <laughs> honestly, keep it. Just like blur, blurp it out. Just no problem. Um, <laughs> so I just had uh, since I posted that Instagram story. I I've had so many girls DM me and be like, oh my God, I watch their show all the time. No way you're on it. That's so sick. They love it, man. They love well, it. Because, because we give them like real like advice that they could use for whatever they're going through. That's what it is. You know man. what I mean? That's, That's why I'm asking these questions. I'm, I'm, <laughs> to get, I'm, I'm interrogating your ass, trying to like get inside the mind of a quote unquote fuck. I know, boy. dude. I know. But like, I that's why they love us is yeah. just by being transparent. You've seen it. Like mm -hmm. when people are mm -hmm. authentic and transparent, yeah. it's like, yo, respect. Like, 100%. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's why I'm kind of digging too a little bit to sh trying to like, okay, no, what, what's the root of this fuckery? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah. is the roots of this fuckery? <laughs> 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 you know, I'm like, why are you chasing validation? Where, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's the, the source of the, the... You're making me question myself, man, as you're over here questioning me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. But isn't that good, though? Because uh, us as guys, we never do question ourselves. We never really want to face whatever the fuck really is going on with us, right? So, But, I'm, but I, I talk a lot, man. I will say, like, I talk a lot. And I, I've got, like, a lot of friends who are women. Mm -hmm. And, uh, dude, I'm not, I'm not afraid to, like like open up and be like transparent with these people or like how I'm feeling or just, you know, I like to talk it out. I like to get other people's advice. I like to understand, you know, like yeah. the root of the issue. If there's an issue, I'm not afraid of confrontation. So mm -hmm. like if I have a problem going on, mm -hmm. I'd be the first to be like, yo, let's step outside. What's really good, you yeah. know, kind of thing. Or if like a girl and I are kind of going back and forth and it's just like, you could tell it's kind of like not working out necessarily. I'll be like, yeah, like what's, what's going on? Like, you know, I'm not the type to, like, suppress, which I feel like yeah. the whole, like, well, good. notion of, like, men is, like, oh, they don't talk about their feelings. They're not open. They don't open up. And they bottle it all in. Yeah. I don't know if that makes me, like, weird or not. But uh, No, not at all. Yeah, that's, like, that's like me as a person, though. Okay, let me ask you this. When was the last, like, actual, like, relationship you were in? Have you ever had your heart broken? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was about... Um, a little under two years ago, maybe like a year and seven months. Shit, was what was that like? Dude, the girl, love or death, still do. Mm -hmm. um, we were together for like four years. But the only problem is, is I never gave her a title, which is fucked up on my part. Mm. Um, so, so you're doing the same situation ship. <laughs> that, was, that was, that was, no, no see, it's different because like with her, it was like, it was like we were together, but mm -hmm. I just never officially asked her to be my girlfriend. What was your and hesitation? I, I now know. It was me deep down keeping my options open. Mm. Is there any particular, what does that say about you or her, that situation? I was just, I was just young and dumb. I didn't yeah. know, you know, it was one of those things where it was like, it was so good that I was, I was like afraid of it almost. Mm. If that makes sense. I don't yeah. know if that makes sense. It's like, you know, when things are just going so, so well, you, you bring up an issue 
mm. just to kind of like, but I can't even think of an issue that like I was, uh, that I brought up to make it like, all I can say is I was just young and stupid and just figuring it out. And I didn't realize what I had until it was gone. That's just the epitome of what it was. Fucking. Sorry. You're preaching to the choir here. Like yeah. everybody does that. I yeah. do the same thing. Yeah. I just never said, hey, you're my girlfriend. You never like called her your girlfriend when you introduce her to people? I don't remember. Oh my God. I don't bro. think so. And that was like, that's crazy. We're going to throw this one. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> But I, I kind of see from what I can tell, it's like you're just afraid of that commitment. Like she is so good. You're like, this is the one. And you are so young and early in your life mm -hmm. that you're like afraid of what you might miss out on. That's, right? that's fair. I, I mean, again, I was like, I was like 21, 22. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, oh, like I'm in my prime. You know, I'm just, <laughs> and it honestly, it came so, it, it happened all so quick. Yep. And she was the one where she was like, Hey, can I get your, can I get your Instagram? Can I get your number? Mm -hmm. And for like three weeks, I was like, no, mm -hmm. I was like, trust me. I'm already talking with my ex. She's crazy. You don't want to do that. What she wasn't. She was not crazy. I said that in hopes that this girl would leave me alone. Gotcha. So I was like, he's crazy. You don't want to deal with that. And was uh, she the same age as you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And, um, it was just a immature rookie move. You yeah. know, I'm not going to call it a mistake because I know it wasn't a mistake. I didn't, I didn't like. That's why I say don't mess with these twos, the twenties. Don't mess with them. <laughs> they don't know. But then there's times. There's man, those there's rare times, cases. People like, you know, fall in love and get married at 22 these days. I'm not, Shit, I'm these not days. Here. What you talking about, bro? These guys, they don't settle down until they hit the cemetery, bro. <laughs> 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 they fucking, they don't. Well, that's LA. That's LA. <laughs> Dude, it's a global pandemic. What you talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got DMs mm -hmm. from all over the world. Mm -hmm. They're like, when are these motherfucking fuck boys in Australia and in, uh, in the UK, in Uganda going to settle down? Yeah, yeah, Uganda. Yeah. They fucking around over there in Uganda too. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> they be wild out here in Uganda. <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's humor. And I'm like, yeah, it's humor. but it's like such a typical thing because us guys, yeah, we want to like, in the culture of like being a man, it's like go and try to have as many girls as you can get, experience as much as you can get. Sure. But the argument is, or not even the argument, this is like my, my uh, little two cents is I always say, like, you know what Baskin Robbins is? Yeah. 31 flavors. Yeah. I always say, like, try out your 31 flavors. That doesn't mean you have to try all of them. Right. But try out a couple to, like, know what you want. Like, right. what if you go and you try strawberry? Maybe you like it, you know? Right. Then uh, maybe you try pistachio. Maybe you don't care for pistachio so much. Right. But then maybe you try, you know, uh, chocolate chip cookie dough. And yeah. you're like, oh, shit. I like chocolate chip cookie dough more than I like strawberry. But mm -hmm. if you didn't try out those different flavors, knowing what you like or don't like, then how, yeah. how will you ever know? Or, you know, and right. I feel like that kind of can affect a person in a way where it's like, if you're content with one person, you're always left wondering, hey, what, maybe, right. what if? Yeah. You know, and the what if is like not good. So I feel like you're learning and, and that yeah. whole like immature, like, teens to like i don't know how long it, that stage goes on for mid mid 20s maybe even 30s like i told you bro to not solo. until they hit the retirement not until they yeah yeah then not they finally they get they're there. ready to like calm down and yeah, stuff. yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh where it's just like i always say just like try your flavors to know, to know what you like and don't like that some people they they take a, a taste of that strawberry like oh this is it there's and there's this nothing wrong with that right and they're like oh i don't even need to try anything those people else. Are lucky. i like this and those I, people are lucky. here's the thing about those people they know themselves enough to like not even need to bother with anything else sure. like i know this has everything i need sure i don't need like anything else yeah you know what i mean yeah. so like that kind of speaks to like okay as a young man we don't have ourselves figured out yet so no, not at all i don't i don't have my shit figured out right you know? So you got, he got, give him a few more decades and he'll be good. No, I mean, I, <laughs> I know, I know what I, I know some of what I like and don't like. Yeah. You know, so like dating my high school girlfriend, now I have characteristics that I like and don't necessarily like. And then there's the next girl where I was like, I like this and I like that. And then the next girl is this and that. And then now it comes to now it's like, I like this, I like that. So then like you start to funnel down like what you look for in a particular right. person. The only problem with that though, is then you always get like stuck trying to find the perfect person. You know, I know I like this, I know I mm -hmm. like that. And now I want to find all those qualities in one person. But when you really care and truly like love that person, 
I'd say it's just like you you learn to love the imperfections. Does yeah. that make sense? And that's that's just for lack of better words. But it's yeah. just maybe I have two things or one thing, no, maybe like five things. She's talking about. Yeah, that. yeah. Hold on, hold on. That's another red flag. That's another red flag. <laughs> Maybe I have a couple things that she doesn't necessarily care for, and maybe she has a couple things that I don't necessarily care for. But like when you really like care about that person, you learn to compromise, and you're like, hey, you know what? We can work on that, or we'll talk that out, and vice versa. Yeah. How long does it usually take you to like? Okay, you met a person, love at first sight. Yeah, right, bro. That's a fucking major. I swear, I swear, you could throw that thing. I stick to that one. Love at first sight. I'm I'm a hopeless romantic (laughs) though. <laughs> They're all the flags. They're all the, 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 the whole stack. The whole, the whole stack. At no, this, bro. Like I, I am though. Like I love living life like a movie. I love that shit. Like I. Damn, that's so. No, that's bro. so cute, bro. <laughs> I don't that's even so think that's sweet. A, that's not a red flag. That's not a red flag. <laughs> I like living life as a movie. I like living life like a movie. I think it just makes it more fun. Like. Like, I mean, that definitely like makes it more fun, it <laughs> but makes, it's so unrealistic, dog. No, it's not. It's not unrealistic. In what way? What you mean? A movie is scripted. It's like, <laughs> it's not real. It, yeah, you know that's I mean? true. I mean, if you put it that way, like, sure. But like, yeah. nothing about it is like a script. I just like, I like the, uh, I like the idea of things like being picture perfect, which they never are. But if you like, if you reach for that, then like you're at the tip of the iceberg like you're having fun i don't even know what i'm saying right now i'm just saying like i like living life like a movie like that (laughs) if you shoot for the stars you end up on the tip of the iceberg you know what i mean yeah yeah something like that i don't know that's how the saying goes potato tomato you know no but no but i i can tell as soon as someone walks in a room and i've only say this because like i've the the past three people that i've like talked to is like as soon as i like saw them and started talking to them i was like oh this is this is gonna be worthwhile so hold up uh, i'm going off of like you saying that it's, it's like love at first sight so yeah. what does that like look like you know or what does that feel like what is it what does it feel like yeah like when you meet somebody what about them is like oh shit it's just vibe but i hate i don't like that answer because that gives them absolutely nothing right but it's just like it's just that's really all it is and 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 you know you know like you yeah. know when you vibe with someone and when you don't it's just like there's frequencies there's levels of this shit. yeah you definitely know when you like vibe with someone and you're like okay yeah no me and this person really click but when you fall for somebody that's like you really like painting a picture in your head of like what this could be but right? you don't want to paint a picture no, you don't. You don't but that's do that. what you're doing. No. Yeah. That's exactly. what I'm doing. You, you're making your whole movie script in your head right there. Straight off the bat. Yep. You're Straight like, damn. The I could totally see us up at the mountaintop <laughs> having dinner and a picnic and whatnot. I could see us like together. You painting the whole fucking cinematic experience right there. <laughs> but it's fun. That's fun. Right. But the but problem also, is, is you're now spe- you're setting expectations. And when you don't hit those expectations... Then you then you get bummed. Yeah, you get bummed. You end up disappointed, and she gets end up disappointed. But but the argument is, what if it turns out better than you ever could have imagined? Bro, it ain't ever gonna turn out better than your imagination. You don't know that. That would be okay. So that would be the case of like where you thought it couldn't work. I didn't see anything like uh, now. You shouldn't bother with me. Mm-hmm. And this is actually in line with what happened with your last girl. Mm. I don't see anything, but then it turned out better than what you imagined. Because in that particular case, you didn't go through that process of like, oh yeah, this is everything. Sure. He's learning a lot about himself right now. <laughs> yeah, I get this is this is a therapy session. <laughs> Let's go. This is a therapy session. We definitely <laughs> fucking, glasses. We definitely Is that your is that your bit? I feel like people are just going to be like, yeah, no, nah, this kid's a red flag. Next episode like, <laughs> boom, he's done. Well, we're learning a lot. We're learning. I'm getting a little too deep for my man. <laughs> no, he's get, he's getting very deep, man. He's getting very deep. The reason is is like I talk about these things all the time and it's yeah. like I just see it so often and I'm just like, what is the solution? here you know what i mean what's really going on sure yeah. and i'm just like can we save some people like some headache or some heartache or some drama like by just going about this a different way while yeah. also getting what we want at the same time yeah and i'm like yeah as long as we're just like 
brutally honest about what this is. As you should, yeah. It's just you know what a, I mean? Like a good relationship's all about transparency. Shit. Like honestly, I'm just like giving the man shit. <laughs> just <to> give him <laughs> shit. Hey <laughs> man, it's, it's all time good. for the I'm for listening. The fam. <laughs> I'm listening, man. I probably I, do, I probably deserve it from uh, all my red flags and thirst traps. All your thirst trap and yeah, you know yeah, man, yeah, girls yeah. you had fallen in love with your yeah, ass. Just like yeah, role yeah, yeah. playing on that fucking <laughs> TikTok screen. <laughs> the man, you're good too. Full <laughs> disclosure, I always say if anyone's like, oh man, I'm so sick of like seeing this kid, I always just say like you can just block me what's with all the uh people like assuming your sexuality oh yeah that i'm gay i get it all the time yeah, yeah. i don't well, know bro I, let's be honest you do have certain mannerisms that are kind of feminine yeah yeah trust me my mom, my mom said that all the time my mom goes well like yeah no shit like look at how you move like look at how your hands move i go mom i'm sorry i was like born this way i don't know how to fucking like how am i supposed to like no nah, it's just like certain things where you just like I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Why are you licking your lips, dog? (laughs) (laughs) Trust me, I get it. Everyone, I get it all the time, man. At first, it used to bug me. Yeah. Now it gets to the point where it's like, okay, I've heard it so much, I'm now numb to it. Yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't. I I was talking to my girlfriends. I just lick my lips again. Sorry, they're dry. I'm not like, like, (laughs) yeah. Like I just take after my grandpa, who like always like, bro. I just I make sure that I'm like touched up in the face and like my skin's looking good. I got my whole routine going. And that's like if that you take pride in your appearance and like you know. But the reason I say that is because I just love female attention, Mm. which is kind of a red flag. But that doesn't mean that I'm trying to get with them. You know, just like (laughs) that just means I just enjoy having them around because I like hearing other um, perspective. Yeah. But then I guess if that's your way of saying like, oh yeah, that's where the mannerisms like stem from. I don't know, man. Like I don't recognize it. Oh, it's clear as day, bro. Maybe I should just, <laughs> maybe I should just get on some steroids and just bulk the fuck up, dude. So no, I, I just, like, can't move. And I'm just like this. I'm like, what's up? Ladies? No, honestly, it's a, it's a sign that you're like, you're very comfortable in your own skin. You know, mm-hmm. guys who, you know, are those guys who walk and talk like this. Those guys are not comfortable in their own skin. That's what, that's a, that's an act. Nobody I, I fucking walks and, you know, is like this all the fucking time. Like, bro, that's not your natural posture, bro. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's the way I interpret it. Yeah. Trust me, man. I've, that was, that was like a whole, a whole ordeal where I was like, man, dude, I was getting roasted up the ass. I was like, here it goes. And it's like all fun and games for like the first like day. But then like once you start hearing it over and over and over and over, it's like, all right, man, like, yeah, Come enough's enough. Like, <laughs> like we've heard it, you know. We've, well, we we've used to get it. that too, as like performers, dancers on stage that fucking would get down to their underwear and shit. Yeah, They're yeah, like, yeah. okay, you guys gotta be like, right. yeah, yeah. That is like a stigma of our industry, sure, right? So yeah. I understand where it's coming from, yeah. where that notion, and it's just yeah. laughable. It's like, okay, I mean, it is. <laughs> what you want me to prove otherwise, dude? That's yeah. what I always say. I always say like, all right, dude, you think I'm gay? Just like, let me hang out with your girlfriend. Like that's usually like where I go with it. But then I'm like, all right, dude, that's not gonna. That's not gonna help me any so at some point you just kind of gotta like let it go yeah just ignore it just, and everyone's I mean? entitled to their own opinion hey like, opinions enjoy. are like assholes everybody's got one and yeah. most fucking stink yeah. <laughs> <laughs> unless you're day. troy it fucking smells like roses oh uh, yeah he, totally. he takes good care of his asshole <laughs> Out of necessity. He doesn't know who's going to be. <laughs> no. Listen, listen. At the end of the day, man, let the haters hate, man, because it's, it's fun. Honestly, it's, it's comical now because um, they don't realize that the extra 20 seconds of them writing, like, a hateful comment just makes my video play that much more, which, like, sends it out to the algorithm, which then gets the brain deals interested. Haters. Which then gets the money coming around. It's just like, listen, at the end of the day, you need haters to kind of, like, Move you and boost you your forward. engagement. You know what? What was it? Lloyd Banks said. What do you say? If they hate, then let them hate and watch the money pile up. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. We'll, <laughs> just, we'll just go with that. So here's a here's a quick fire okay. question and answer. Okay, like a yes or no, or you're just gonna ask me and I'm just gonna go. Just like a quick answer. It doesn't okay. necessarily have to be yes or no. Okay. Uh, okay. So first off, like, uh, how do you approach a girl? What's your go-to? Like, if you see somebody that you're attracted to, like, what's your approach? I don't, I don't like, I'm not the type of guy to like go straight up. I like to like make eye contact across the room, let like every other guy like go up and say hi, but like still keep that like eye contact. So when she's like talking with another guy, you can tell like she's not interested. She's like looking at you like every two seconds, right? Mm -hmm. And then after everyone's like shot their shot, I'll go up and be like, so how do you work out? That's like my whole like. So how do you what? How do he work out? Oh, how do he work out? Yeah. Or I'd just be like, hi. That's all it is. Let me write that shit down. Write down. Oh, spell it. It's H I. <laughs> how'd he work out? Yeah. How'd he work That's a good out? One. It's just fun. It's just something different, you know, because then yeah. it puts you on like a different playing field as opposed to like you hitting on her. Yeah. It's more like 
being like, well, let's put the interest on him when really in, in retrospect, it's like, or actuality, it's not even the right word. It's like, what's, it's me saying what's really good. Yeah. You know? But it's like, let's put the focus on someone else, not so much me, not so much you. So it takes the tension or the pressure off. Yeah. yeah. That's a good one, man. He's writing well, it down. Oh, I, I am writing it down. <laughs> Bro, that's part of why I want to get your ass on so I can fucking take some notes yeah. on your ass. Pretty, pretty boy, motherfucker. Next thing you know, no girls are being talked to. Everyone just staring at him. These chicks are like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> you going to see me? So how did he work out? <laughs> Who? Nobody even came up to me. <laughs> this is what he told me to say, though. What you talking about? This is, supposed that's to be, this is what he said, right? That's good. That's really funny. Uh, let's see. Reasons you might ghost somebody. If I just didn't enjoy their time. So th- are these like typically people that like you meet one time and you guys exchange info, they hit you up and you know, you kind of took their info down just to like could be be polite in the moment. It wasn't necessarily polite, it was just maybe like, oh, it was it was fun at this time, but then I don't know, you like scroll through Instagram the next day and you're just yeah. like, uh like Oh, so and so maybe hangs out with so and so that I don't necessarily care for, or gotcha. maybe she wasn't who I thought because I was drunk. <laughs> you know, like gotcha. just like that sounds really bad, but like that's just <laughs> no. I, mean, I think it's relatable too. Every I know there's a lot of girls that same, yeah, and, yeah, same. Where where you get a guy's Instagram or you get his number and then you like see him the next day, you're like, mm. and you're like Becky, Second why the guy. fuck did you let me do that? Right. Yeah. And instead of saying, yeah, I mean, you don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah. That's that really point. you're like, what the fuck? How do I? Yeah. Tell this guy, uh, I was fucked up last night. I don't even, <laughs> I'm well, not you, even that into you. Could you imagine if they just said that? Yeah, I was easier. like really drunk. I thought you were way better looking than <laughs> you actually are. Dude, that guy, but that guy would just go jump off bad. a cliff, that poor dude. <laughs> Fuck, it's either the truth or just nothing. And the truth hurts. The but truth sometimes you just gotta hurt. rip it off like a bandit. Okay, you know? see? Do you block or mute somebody if you're not like fucking with them anymore on social media? Uh, Let's say you got an ex or sure. somebody you no, no longer close with. Uh, my ex, I just chose, like, we just don't follow each other. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't stalk, though. Like, I have control, for lack of better words, to, like, not feel the need to, like, go on their story and check in. Mm. It's kind of like what you said is, like, I don't want to check in. I don't want to see that person with right. any other person. So I guess that's kind of where so that comes So you just unfollow. From. Unfollow. I'll mute people if I'm, like, friends with them. But mm. I just don't care to see their stuff so much. My biggest thing is, I'm like... I'm still cool seeing, with like, you, though. Like, 100%. Yeah, if I see you at a party, like, cool. But, like, I don't care to see your cat taking a bath three <laughs> times a week. And I don't want to hear political views. That's, like, my biggest thing is, like... Yeah, yeah. that's what, that's a big one for me is, like... Yeah. When you're, it's too much drama. Yeah. It's just like, eh, yeah. I'm here to get like. I'm here I to have fun, man. Yeah. I'm here to escape all that. So I don't, I'm not here to exactly. see that. Yeah. Cologne of choice. I don't tell anyone my cologne. Oh, really? I don't tell anyone my Smart cologne. Smart move. Yeah. But I, I have the secret sauce. Oh, Everyone shit. says they have the secret sauce, but yeah, like. secret sauce. I, I fucking. You need to say. <laughs> Dior Sauvage. What the fuck? No, 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 no. <laughs> Red flag. It's one that a lot of people, uh, yeah, it's. It just works well with me. That's all I can say. Everyone has their own Amber scent. Abercrombie uh, Fierce. What? <laughs> Remember Abercrombie Fierce? You oh, saw. could you imagine, dude? <laughs> no. That was the OG like cologne back in. That's like a high school thing. Isn't yeah, it? that so would like suit your whole persona. My whole like, thing. You look like an Abercrombie model. I modeled for Abercrombie. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. Yeah. I rest my case. But I wasn't wearing fears. It was Whatever. a curve. Curve. Like, how do you know this shit? See, that's a red flag, bro. I told you my ass was fucking the head of the bloods. That's back how, in the day. Yeah, yeah, right. That's how you were getting all your checks when you were stripping. So I was the MC of the show, by the way. Oh, JK. The producer and JK, the, the JK, host JK. MC. Ah, maybe. Hey, man. I was the orchestrator. Behind, this, behind closed doors, savagery. we don't know me. We don't know. Maybe. Yeah, privately. Yeah, we sure. private dances back there. Uh, biggest turn on in the bedroom. Biggest turn on. Um, I like uh, someone who's vocal. Mm. and like lets me know like like what they're into and what they like you know a little dirty talk that's a turn on also i like someone who like who like knows what she wants so she's like not afraid to take control in a way mm. that's hot that is fucking not hot. like now i'm not like trying to walk in a bedroom and have her just like slap me across the face and grab my <laughs> fucking you know like it's like whoa dominatrix like, type shit yeah no, no no i'm not i'm not that but like <laughs> i'm not a, tied i'm not afraid to be like sometimes or like They'll be like, all right, cool, like, like, lay down. Lay your ass down. Yeah. She fucking pushes you down. Does your own thing. I'm like, all right, thing. all right, girl. I'm I've like- had a girl do that to me. And usually I'm like more of the one in control. So when she takes control in like those moments, yeah. you're just like, 
It was hot. You're oh, like, shit, okay. You're like, do you think, girl? Fuck, I, yeah. I'm all yours. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah, That's so hot. That shit is hot, ladies. That, that shit hot. is hot. Don't be afraid to take control in the bedroom. What's the biggest turn off in the bedroom? I just don't like bad hygiene, man. Yeah, of That's course. like, I feel like it's such a generic, simple fix. Or I'd say even opposite of what we said about like uh, saying what you want, not saying anything at all, like okay. being a mute. There's or if they just like starfish. Put Don't be on, afraid to take control a little bit. You know, just let, we talked about this on the sex therapist episode. Fucking really? go watch that episode if you haven't yet. 71. 71. That's going to that's going to take address all these questions right here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's your artist of choice for the bedroom or playlist of choice? Uh, party next door. I love party. Guys yeah, kills it. What's your proudest bedroom moment? Um, it wasn't in the bedroom, but I just made some chick squirt everywhere and she was oh, like shit. she's like i've never done that before and i was like like, like she, what the fuck she was oh, like shit. she was the first older girl i was with oh shit so i was like 24 and she was um 31 was, <laughs> what was your reaction when when uh when that happened dude i just held on for dear life and kept kept doing what i was doing. <laughs> <laughs> held on for dear oh, life man. i just remember just being like Oh my god, that's never happened before. Like, like, but you could tell it was like it was genuine. But you took it as like a huge like. I, you know me. I just played it off. No, it was like a proud I was a moment. Stud. I just played it off Same. like I was so fucking. No, cool. I mean it's like okay, we did something. Right? I did something right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Right <laughs> Should have told me to bring my snorkels, girl. <laughs> fuck. I remember I had a similar reaction the first time, and I was like, oh shit. It's hot. Yeah. Yeah. Then I was like, damn. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking Scuba Steve up in the Scuba Steve in that bitch, dude. That was like my gamer tag back in the day. That's humor. What was your most awkward bedroom moment? Um, Or like embarrassing or worst? (laughs) Or worst? Uh, It always sucks when you just, when you like whiskey dick. Oh, bro. Like when I was uh, 19, we came back from a frat party and I probably like, I finished in 20 seconds. (laughs) And you have to hit him with, oh, that never happens. Yep. <laughs> you know, that's always, that always sucks. You have people like walk in on you. That's always like, not embarrassing. Cause like, I don't really care. It's like everyone right. fucking does it. I'm trying to remember mine. Similar to you. It was just like, I'm too fucked up. <laughs> like, yeah. Sorry, girl. Yeah. <laughs> like, fuck. Yeah. Plan B. Lay back, relax. Let me put my bib on. <laughs> you gotta work. You gotta work. It's all good. You gonna enjoy yourself. Yeah. It's me. It's you. Not you. Don't worry about it. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> my most awkward. You know when like you're in the heat of the moment and whatnot, and like you're ready to just get at it. Sure. Right. Pick the girl up. Carry her to the bedroom. I already know where you're going with this one. I toss her onto the bed. I tossed her way too hard. Oh no! Her head goes straight into the headboard. Bro. She's like, Poof. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> bro, bro. Did Let you me sh- check your pulse. You good? Stop. She's like, oh, and we're. It's like you're in that oh, passionate thank God. moment. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, she was good. Oh, thank God. I thought <laughs> you exactly. knocked the poor thing out. I was like, oh, bro, that's not good. <laughs> no, we laughed. Like she, like immediately. Yeah, laughed. Bu- she had both a busted out laughing. Yeah, She's like, damn, motherfucker, what the fuck? Dude, that's crazy. <laughs> it's funny as hell. We made the best of it though. I think that's the best thing to do in those moments. Like just laugh it off. As bro, just, you should. There's got to be a point where you laugh during sex. Oh yeah. Otherwise, you know, you're just like you're fucking the wrong person and that's when you know okay we gonna have a lot of fun together yeah yeah you know what i mean the vibe yeah, yeah. is right and that person's gonna stick around yeah well dude this has been a fucking yeah, very eye-opening that episode as for me man i swear i was at the <laughs> therapist how much do i owe you we're gonna send you that venmo afterwards don't worry <laughs> about it i'll send you the invoice yeah, yeah. But bro i want to just say thank you for coming on doing thank this you, with me you. man i appreciate you're, it my you're, dog I appreciate you're really great you. man thank, fucking, you. thank you brother definitely uh a vibe bro <laughs> this is fun no this is a good time yeah man this was a good if time. anybody else has any questions follow up that y'all y'all want me to interrogate the boy about leave them down in the comment section no, i'm kind of scared after and that. y'all guess who we were talking about earlier in the uh <laughs> in the episode <laughs> leave that down in the comments too let's, let's see what's really good let's see what's really good but let's anyway i want to thank y'all for being here if y'all listening to this on apple spotify or youtube do me a big favor if you enjoyed this episode honor us with a subscription slam it Slam that subscribe button, mm. that follow button, whatever's mm. there. Share it with some friends. Share with some friends. You know, get inside. If the- you're not sharing strip down, then you're not really stripping down, which means you're not getting shit in the bedroom, which means 
know. Are you down with the SDP gang or not? Is that what it is? SDP? SDP. SDP? Strip that. Yeah, SDP. SDP. I mean, hey, yo, somebody might actually find some, you know, useful information to navigate whether or not they're talking to somebody who's like, True. you know, not that serious. Look. Like we said before, we, we want to be completely transparent with y'all for the sake of, you know, putting y'all on game. So hopefully y'all don't judge us off this. We all have our chicaterous ways and we want to take this information and put y'all on game with it. We're all human. We're making amends. <laughs> we were forming this young fuck boy. <laughs> and where can people find you at online? Just at Troy Osterberg, O-S-T-E-R-B-E-R-G. Instagram, TikTok. All across the board. All of them. All across the board. Go check the, the man out. Go check oh out boy. some of his thirst trap acting, dude. It's, man, there's no fucking, fucking thirst traps. You're not going to find a thirst trap on that. Y'all bitch. tell me. We got to cut some in. But anyway, thank y'all so much for being here. And we will see y'all next time. One time for the one Peace. time. Peace. <laughs>